Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Longchamp Racecourse here on Sunday. It is April the 14th, 2019. I'm going to look at the stakes races on the program from Longchamp, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at HorseRacingKit5 for more selections for racecourses around the world, and also join me this week for the Craven meeting from Newmarket. But uh, today's card from Longchamp is very good. You have some great prep races. Um, we're going to look at the stakes races, races 2, 4, 6, and seven so races two four six and seven let's get on to it the featured second race from Longchamp it's the group three Prix de Fontainebleau it's a group three race going for a purse ninety two thousand five hundred dollars race is for three year olds only a uh, field of five colts going sixteen hundred meters or a mile on the turf course my top selection here I'm gonna take the four horse Persian King I'm gonna go four five two in the tri cash trifecta four five two tri cash trifecta top selection of four horse Persian King three old colt by King Kingman, Pierre Charles Bedeau gets a leg up for Andre Fab and Godolphin. The horse's most recent outing came the 13th of October at Newmarket. 1,600 meters, one mile in the Group 3 uh, Godolphin autumn uh, stakes. The horse won by a neck there, and uh, it was fitting Godolphin horse won that race because it was sponsored by Godolphin. But, um, you know, this horse, he sat towards the front end, he got the good turn of foot, and he won very nicely. It was a small margin, but he showed some heart there. It was a very good run to end off his two year old campaign. Before that, he ran an allowance novice race at Shanti on the 15th of September. One mile, 16 meters on good ground. He won by five, and he took off clear. He was much the best that day. That was a very good run. And then a Shunti, one mile, 16 meters in two-year-old main race. Around the turn, again, he won by six lengths. He just won very nicely. His one subpar race, it was his first outing at uh, Deauville, going seven and a half down the straightaway, and he never got into it. He finished second by two lengths. He just couldn't get that good trip. But I think around the turn today... He should really do well, and I think he's won much the best races here. If I could give you a tip right now for the French 2000 guineas, it would probably be this one, but knowing my luck, he'll be very low in odds. But if he's not, you know, I would back him right now for the guineas, or the, uh, the Poulines, or Poulaches, whatever they call it. But um, to recap my selection for the second from Longchamp, it's group three, Prix de Fontainebleau. I'm going to go with the four-horse Persian King. I'm going to go 4-5-2 in the Tri-Cash Trifecta. Let's get to the fourth race from Longchamp, which is the... Group 3, Prix de la Grotte Stakes. It's a Group 3 race going for a purse $92,500. Races for um, three-year-old fillies here. We have a field of nine horses going 1,600 meters or one mile on the turf course. My top selection, I'm going I'm to go with the five-horse Rocus. I'm going to go 5-2 in the Forecast Exacta. 5-2, Forecast Exacta. Top selection, five-horse Rocus. This is three-year-old filly by Lorman. Pierre Charles Bedeau picks up the bounce on this one also. The horses most recent now, and came the of October at Longchamp, <coughs> 1,600 meters, one mile in the group one, pre to Marcel de Boussac stakes. He was 2-1 at post time. He should have run a lot better than he did, He did, but he didn't. He finished 6 by 1 and 3 quarter lengths. He never got that good turn of foot. The ground was very wet, so maybe he didn't get around it well. But he, like I said, he should have done a lot better than he did to back him that day. The winner, keep in mind, uh, Lily's Candles running back in this one today, uh, making her uh, second to first start of the season. Lily's Candle, by the way, went to, on to run at Churchill in the Bridge Cup Juvenile Fleas Turf, where she finished 12th by 17 lengths, really never getting a hand over the ground. But, um, you know... This horse at, uh, at the, the Rocas at, uh, in the Marcel Boussac, he, he just never had that good, comfortable run. But before then, the group through Prito Mule at Longchamp from September the 9th, the horse won by three quarters length. He had that extra turn of foot on the front end, and he ran a good effort. And then at Claire Fontaine, seven francs in the, in the novice lounge race, he won by three and a half, and he took off clear against the lesser quality horse. She, she ran a good record, and then she broke the main at Shunti very easily. I think she's a horse throughout that race from Longchamp last time out. I think going into the three-year-old campaign, much more improved. Try her ground. I think she'll run a lot better of a race, so I'll take her here at four to one. Not the best price in the world, but to recount my selection for the fourth from Longchamp, it's the group three pretty lock road. It's going to go with the five-horse Rokas. I'm going to go five-two in the forecast exacta. So we're going to head over to race number six now from Longchamp, which is for the older horses now. Some of these horses you'll probably see in the arc later at this year. But the sixth race, it is the pre-Lord Seymour Stakes. It's illicit stakes going for a purse $60,000 race for four girls and upwards. Field 11 horses going 2,400 meters or a mile and a half on the Longchamp turf course. Top selection, I'm going to take the uh, the old man, the eight-horse Tiberian. I'm going to go 8-3 in the forecast exacta. 8-3 forecast exacta. Top selection, eight-horse Tiberian. 
Send your horse by Tabir Caesar. Olivier Pellier, the veteran, gets the leg up. His horse is 4-1 to one here. His most recent outing came the 1st of November in Germany at Munich uh, in the uh, mile and a half group one Prix von Bayern stakes. He finished 7th by 25 lengths. I don't know how the format of that race was because it was just, that was a very weird race. The foe actually who finished 2nd uh, ran yesterday at, um, at, at Newberry ran crap. Uh, next TV is a decent horse. We ran a good effort there. But this horse, he, he just never got into it. Um, you know, never was into, you know, it, it wasn't his day to win. Before then, the Art the Triumph, getting, he, he's not that group one quality horse anymore. He's a group three to elicit six quality horse. He, in the arc last year, he finished 12th by six lengths. He was sent off as 131 to, uh, 31 to one at post time. And he just didn't do any running. The horses were just much the best. And then before that, in the Grand Prix de Deauville, at a mile and a half at Deauville, back in late August, he finished fifth by nine and a half lengths. Again, he never had the good run. And then before that, though, in the group three Prix de Rue at Deauville, mile and a half, 2400 meters on very dry ground, he ran a very good second place finish by one quarter lengths behind Finch. Finch just ran that a better race on the front end, but this horse was closing for his first run a little bit, and then he ran the Grand Prix de Chanty against those tougher horses. He just never got the good closing kick behind Wildgeist. And then back here at Long Shop in the Group 3, uh, Prito Hodeville, he finished fourth by one and a quarter lengths. He did run a lot better than his numbers expected him that day, but I like him coming here, starting off this season again in illicit stakes, lesser quality horses than he's been facing. I think he'll really get a good run. The veteran Pellier back up. I'll take him here at 4-1. Uh, to one. So to recap my selections for today's sixth race from Long Shop, it's Dupree, Lord Seymour Stakes. It's, I'm going to go with the eight horse here, um, Tiberian. I'm going to go 8-3 in the forecast exacta. So now let's get on to race number seven from Long Shop, which is the Group 3 Pre Noel Stakes. It's Group 3 race going for a purse, $92,500. Just races for three-year-olds. Colts here. Field of nine horses going 2,000 meters or a mile and a quarter on the turf course. Top selection, I'm going to go with three horse Citrus. I'm going to go 3 7 in the forecast exacta. 3 7 forecast exacta. Top selection, three horse Citrus. This, um, Three old colt by Frankel. Miguel Barcelona gets leg up for Godolphin and Andre Fab. The horse's most recent outing came the first of October. Shantia Mama eighth, 1800 meters in the Group Three. Prito Cone Stakes. He finished second by one quarter length patent line of duty. He's a very good horse. Uh, I believe he won next start out in the Breeders' Cup Juvenile Turf. Uh, but this horse, he ran a good effort behind him. He had a decent turn of foot. I think you know he, the Mama quarter today as first start of this drill, he should definitely handle it because he ran very good there on a very good horse. Before that, long shot, second December, one mile, second of September, 1600 meters. One mile allowance novice. He won by half length. He got there in the nick of time. It was a very good effort. But I think today, getting the mile a quarter into his three year old campaign, improving a lot. Look at the horses he finished. Uh, you know, he finished behind his Breeders' Cup winner. So he's a good horse. And I think he'll really run a good race here. Two to one, I'll take him. Mean, he's not the best price in the world, but he's a very good horse, I think. But to recap my selection for the seventh from Long Shop, it's Group 3 Priya Noel's. Gonna go with the number three horse, Citrus. I'm gonna go 3 7 in the forecast exacta. So good luck to all. Please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing. Kit 5.